the first item we, we agreed upon was the across the board increase. We had requested at 2%, but the minister, even in mediation, he has suggested uh, 1.75 yearly for the next four years, which would sum up around 7%. Uh, the union was flexible from then and we believe that we couldn't have continued being inflexible if we wanted a resolution. So we, we did um, accept the 1.75 uh, yearly increase across the board. That's the first one. The second one was that all our in increases uh, that are related to appraisal performance results remain as well. And the third one was the increase uh, in terms of the matching uh, on behalf of the company towards our pension. So it would, it would be taken from six as the maximum up to ten okay. percent. So then those are what was agreed to. But you all stayed there. Explain to me your night at the Ministry of Labor and how it ended. Yes, it, it, it was tough because um, at, at first we did not really understood what was taking so long, but obviously uh, we were dealing with a lot of um, back and forth, probably between uh, the minister, people in the board, and uh, people in management, and the prime minister, and so forth. So everybody had to basically synchronize as to what was happening, and um, eventually uh, I think management worked out or the person that they had there representing WACTO, we are not sure what happened. Uh, but the agreement was, in essence, between the government of Belize and the um, trade union. Uh, the government of Belize being the, the, the owner, in, in a sense, of the company. You know? So that's where, that's where we stand. We thought that at that point in time that it would be better to have that than to have nothing at all and come back empty-handed and start at square one. The MOU was signed at around 5 this evening, but that doesn't mean that the management of BEF